Millions of dollars have been spent over the last few weeks in the East Bay area of San Francisco, the Contra Costa County, a little piece of Alameda County, to determine which of three Democrats will fill a new state, a state Senate seat that was vacated when the senator went off to Congress. And one would think that it wouldn't make much difference, at least to the average public, whether Democrat Joan Buchanan or Susan Bonilla or Steve Glazer wins that seat. But it makes a lot of difference to special interest groups in and around the Capitol, to unions, to business groups, and so forth. And it's become one of the fiercest state Senate races in California history. As I said, millions of dollars are being spent. And chances are that after the voters have done their business today, we won't know who the next state senator from the 7th Senate District will be because it will probably be a runoff in May. And more millions of dollars will be spent to determine which one of those three Democrats will be the next state senator from that area. It's a particularly uh, difficult race because Steve Glazer is coming out as the anti-union Democrat, opposed to two other Democrats who are supported by unions. The unions are split between the two of them. And that seems to be the real nut of the fight whether a union Democrat or a Democrat who's been critical of unions will wind up at that state senate seat in Contra Costa and Alameda counties.